So Jim Edwards here joined on the line by Cage Warriors bantamweight champion Nathaniel Wood. He takes on Luca Iovine this uh, Saturday at Cage Warriors 92. Uh, Nathaniel, it's been a minute since I've spoken to you. So um, how are you doing? It's Monday, uh, fight week. You must be excited for it on Saturday. Yes, mate. I can't wait. You know, I'm buzzing to get in there. I'm uh, buzzing to get this weight cut done and then, you know, get in there, get the fight done and enjoy it. So, I mean, yeah, let's crack onto that straight away. The weight cut, I know it's um, never a fun thing for any fighter, but uh, how is it for you as the champion? You've got to hit 135. I know in the past that always hasn't been uh, easy, so to speak. Um, how's it going for you now, and how much weight, I guess, have you got to cut now? Um, it's going well, mate. You know, I'd be lying if I said that it was easy. You know, it is always painful, and you do always feel a bit shit, you know, come fight week. But my weight is actually... As good as it was the last time, and the last weight cut I had was my easiest one to date. So, you know, fingers crossed it carries on going the same way for the rest of the week, and then it looks like I'll be having another easy cut. And, uh, yeah, rehydrate properly, and then I'll get in there to get the job done. So, I mean, have there been any kind of uh, tips or tricks, or has it just been, I guess, a process about learning about your body and trying to understand how, how you can uh, get, get your weight down, or have you cleaned up your diet or anything like that? Yeah, it's just been um, a case of learning how my body reacts, you know. I've, I've grown a lot since the um, couple of years ago when I was cutting to band and weight, so, you know, it's, took, it's taken a bit of time, but I now know, you know, roughly what I've got to um, lose a week. You know, I think if when I start my camp, if I aim to lose sort of half a kilo a week, you know, it's quite realistic, uh, whereas I'd used to try and cut a little more, um, and then I'd be suffering for it. And, you know, now I know roughly what I can cut in a sword of, which isn't too much. Um, so, yeah, it's literally just been the case of learning my body, you know, learning what I'm capable of doing and, and what's the most healthiest for me. Yeah, so, I mean, when did he kind of start training for this one? And when, when did he first hear about this bout uh, with uh, Luca? When, when did he first know you are going to be on Cage Warriors Super Saturday? Um, well, I knew I was going to be on the Cage Warriors London card um, ages ago. But, you know, I don't think I got matched with Luca until nine weeks before prior. So, you know, beginning of the year, I think I got... Um, got the contract through for him, you know, the cage warriors know that I, I take whoever they give me, so it, they didn't even have to ask me who, who I wanted to fight, you know, I just got the contract and accepted. So, I mean, what, what do you know about this guy? What have you been able to find out about him? I, I see he's on an eight-fight win streak, five finishes in a row. You know, he, he, does, he looks at the business, this kid, but I have to say I haven't seen much footage of him yet. But what do you know about, about him? What, what can you tell me? Yeah, well, he's got a great record, you know, he's 12 wins, one loss, um, eight fight win streak, as you said. Um, I believe he's uh, the Italy's number one ranked bantamweight. But, you know, I've looked at his record and I don't think there's many guys on there that he's beat that I can give him credit for. You know, um, he looks like he's fought a lot of cams and a lot of guys that have been there to, um, you know, uh, help his record grow. Um Whereas if you look at my record, you know, you look at the guys that I've been fighting, you know, I think they're a lot more higher calibre than, than the, who he's fought. You fought a lot more high caliber opponents. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you, you, just thinking back to your last loss, Alan Philpot, 2016. Like, what, what is it you kind of think that you've changed since then, and what, what have you kind of changed up and learned? Because you know, the fights you've been involved in since then, you look very convincing. Yeah, you know, with the Philpot fight um, a couple of years back, you know, it was just the case that I got caught in the first round with the the elbow to the nose, and once that happened, you know, I just kind of stop thinking about the game plan and just went into fight mode. So since then, you know, I use my head a lot more now, you know. Um, so when I go into the fights, instead of just reacting off just being in a fight, basically, now I, I use my head a lot more, you know, and, and come in a lot more switched on. Well, you know, just going back to Luca for a second, like, have you been able to find much footage on him? Like, what, what sort of fighter is this guy? And how do you think this one's got to kind of play out on Saturday? Um, well, I haven't been able to see much footage myself anyway, um, but I also never really look for it too hard to find it. Um, however, what I've seen of him, you know, he looks good everywhere. I wouldn't say that he's 
um, more of a striker or a grappler. You know, he just looks an all-round good MMA fighter. Um, I don't think he looks amazing anywhere, you know. So I believe that anywhere I decide to take the fight, I will uh, be the be the dominant. So I mean, like thinking back to your last fight with Josh Reed. In the end of the last year, you know, everyone talked it up as one of the best fights of the year. I mean, it was incredible just to see the, the tide shift one way and then back the other so quickly. Um, you know, when you think back to that fight, are you happy with the way it went? Um, I can imagine not totally. Um, no, you know, I, I come away and uh, I've got a lot of lessons learned from it. You know, um, you never want to get caught and take any punishment in a fight. Um, however, you know, it's, been uh that's the only test i've actually ever been rocked in a fight um so you know it was good to be tested and to see that i can come back from that um also you know i can't complain it's gone viral and it's had about 20 million views so you know that's always a good thing um and it's good to, i like i want to be a fighter who, who people remember their fights you know not just look at their record and think oh yeah the guys won a lot of boring fights or whatever you know, I like to look back and think that people were on the edge of their seat for my fights. And, you know, me versus Josh Reed, I'd like to think that that is the case. Yeah, it certainly was. You can trust me on that. Um, you, you know, you're going to be heading up this uh, Super Saturday fight card. There's so many fights going on, yet you're the kind of main event draw. You're the main man. Like, how does that feel? That must feel pretty good heading into this Saturday. Yeah, it feels amazing, you know, especially to have um, the amount of publicity that I've got from it, um, especially with the amount of other guys that are on the card, you know. But if I'm honest, I feel that I deserve it and I feel that I've earned the right to, you know, get that promotion. And, um, you know, when you when you consider the, the kind of placement, I can imagine you're going to be fighting quite late on the night. Do, does that do anything for you in terms of the nerves? I can imagine it must be quite, you must be quite anxious waiting for your fight to happen. It must be, the wait must feel like forever. Yeah, for me, I'd always like to get my fights done as soon as, you know, when I was uh, previously and when I was on um, shows and I was the first fight, you know, it was amazing. You go in, get your fight done, and you'd be out with your friends having a beer at 6.30. Mm. But, you know, it doesn't bother me too much. You know, I'm quite happy to be the main event, soak it all up, and, uh, yeah, just enjoy the journey and the night. Um, another positive from it, you know, it gives me more time to rehydrate, you know, mm. instead of literally um, having 24 hours from when you've weighed into your fight, you know, I get another, I don't know, eight hours on top of that to properly refuel. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, you must be looking a bit down the card as well. I mean, you got that Jack Shaw versus Vaughn Lee fight. Everyone's talking up Jack Shaw about kind of being the next big thing at Bantamweight. Is that a fight you're going to be having one eye on? Um, well, it's definitely a fight that I wouldn't uh, decline, you know. Um, Jack's actually called me out. He's done it very politely, though, so there's no uh, hard feelings on that. Um, there's no reason why if Cage Warriors want that fight in the future, we can get it on. You know, however, providing I get the job done on Saturday, you know, there, there could be bigger and better things for me. Yeah, I mean, I was just about to ask about that. I mean, word on the street is the UFC have already kind of uh, told, like, you know, implied to you the fact that there's a very strong likelihood that you could be signing with them with another win on Saturday. Is that um, is that the truth and is that is that what you'd be hoping for as well? Um, yeah, you know, I can't, I can't um, deny that they, we haven't been in talks with them, um, you know, however I leave all that to my manager and stuff. Um, but for me, you know, the focus right now is just on Luke Iovin and making sure that I get the job done on uh, Saturday night. Did you see uh, UFC London this Saturday? Were you there? I, was, I did watch it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the main card, though, as my UFC fight pass just decided not to show me it. Um, you know, I was going to come to the event, but with it being weight cut week, you know, I just thought I'd rather be at home with a cup of tea in bed than walking around looking at drunk people eating a load of food. Yeah, that's probably a wise choice. But yeah, I was just I was interested to ask you about perhaps the, the UFC kind of bantamweight division. Like, when, when you kind of look at that, and you think about your own kind of level and where you are right now, What do you, do you see yourself kind of fitting in there quite nicely? And do you think you're going to be very competitive within that as soon as you arrive? Yeah, I honestly believe that as soon as I arrive at the UFC, you know, it won't take me long to get in that top 10. You know, I'm looking at the guys that uh, are fighting now in the Bantamweight division, you know, and I honestly am confident that I can take any of them on. 
I mean, um, obviously Tom Tuchel, who I fought this past weekend, and he, he was always, he's a guy that's come up through the, the kind of British domestic scene as well. Um, you know, Nad Naramani, another Cage Warriors champion, got the call up. Uh, I, I know I keep referring back to it, but he must feel pretty confident that you, your time's going to come very quickly after this Saturday with a great performance, right? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm always confident that I'm going to get to the UFC, you know. Um, that's the best platform for the, the biggest stars in the world, you know, and there's no reason why I shouldn't be there. I know I can handle myself against them. It's just a matter of when it comes, you know. I'm not uh, one of these fighters that's going to beg on Twitter and, you know, um, devalue myself. Uh, you know, when the UFC comes, they come, and, you know, all I can say is that when they do come, I I'll be ready. Yeah, so just lastly, just to wrap this kind of up, like, yeah, as I was saying earlier, you're going to be the main man on Saturday, you're, you're going to be the last fight on the card, that's where everyone's coming uh, to see, you always bring so much support as well, when, when people, when it's all said and done, when they're walking away from um, the O2 on Saturday, what kind of impression and performance do you want to have kind of left the fans with? You know, I want them to see a dominant performance. You know, the last fight obviously was a bit back and forth, but this one, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not anticipating that at all. You know, I'm going to go in there and get the job done and come out uninjured and healthy. Great stuff, Nathaniel. It's good, to, great, great to talk to you. Um, no doubt I'll see you before Saturday, but if I don't, uh, best of luck for then. Lovely. Thanks a lot, Jim.